नमस्कार ऑल ऑफ यू सो डे एट ऑफ द सेफ सॉइल जर्नी आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैड अ गुड एकादशी टुडे वॉज एक टुडे इज एकादशी एंड एंड आई होप मैनी ऑफ यू वुड हैव फास्ट टुडे ऑन एकादशी एज यू नो दैट दिस इज़ अ वेरी सपोर्टिव डे एंड फास्टिंग ऑन एकादशी कैन हेल्प यू इन मैनी वेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड ऑल्सो इन योर स्पिरिचुअल ग्रोथ इट कैन स्ट्रेंथन यू इन अ ट्रमेंडस वे इफ यू कैन जस्ट फास्ट so i hope you had a good uh, day today and you were also able to intensify your practices so generally on ekadashi we suggest to uh, to go without food so if yesterday you had your dinner so the next meal is uh, on ekadashi dinner so 24 hours gap without food if you can just stay on water that is the best way to purify or cleanse your system so i hope you had a good time and uh, if you haven't attempted this please see if you can try this maybe next ekadashi we have a group we have a broadcast group where we share ekadashi reminders at least two days before so if you wish to make use of that support uh, you can do that if you visit our website you will find the link to join our broadcast group and uh, uh, i'll also share the link uh, in the comment section so you can even uh, do that if you wish to stay updated along with daily yogic updates so i just thought that uh, today uh, uh we could continue with what we looked at in the last few days in terms of how to continue how to be in touch with the earth so since tomorrow is pradosham so this is a very conducive time uh, especially uh, uh two days uh, uh two days before uh, amavasya so is pradosham so uh, this month amavasya is on 31st march 31st and tomorrow is pradosham tomorrow uh, Uh, tomorrow is pradosham 29th and uh, if you can especially on these days which is from pradosham to new moon day or amavasya so uh, especially these three days you will see that because of the moon's uh, gravitational pull it creates a certain level of inertia and especially on these three days you will see that your body's energies are more connected with the earth than in your any other days you will see that in terms of energetic energy you are more connected with the earth on these three days than on any other days so if at least if not every day if you are not able to walk barefoot every day at least from pradosham to new moon day which is amavasya if you can walk barefoot on these three days at least you will see that this is something which will help you in a big way to uh, be in touch with the earth and to get tremendous benefits because of this touch with the earth it will help your help you in terms of health and overall well being so tomorrow being pradosham please see if you can experiment with this and uh, if you're not able to walk barefoot outside your home at least inside your home uh, the next 3 days tomorrow and uh, until amavasya at least the next 3 days see if you can experiment with this because especially on these three days you will see that you can get an added benefit by walking barefoot and also by sitting on the floor in a cross leg uh, in a cross leg posture so those of you um, who have learned uh, ardha sadhana you can sit in ardha sadhana as much as possible at least on these three days see if you can sit on the floor and if you have not learned ardha sadhana then uh, if you just you can just sit cross leg you know you can fold your legs and you can sit especially on the floor you will see uh, even if you are able to sit inside your home on your floor close to the ground you will see it will be the way you can connect with the earth is very different than in a lying down posture because the way the energy is function in a lying down posture is very different compared to when you are sitting or you are uh, wa- walking barefoot so especially these two ways uh, walking barefoot and sitting on the floor in a cross leg manner these two things can help you tremendously and if not every day at least on these three days you please try and see this it can um, bring a tremendous difference so uh, uh, this is not just uh, uh, you can try this next three days but even otherwise uh, if you find that sitting on the floor uh, is something you know which is which you have not tried before then what you can do is uh, it's very simple actually if you wish uh, you can even use a cushion maybe a very thin cushion if that's comfortable for you and maybe about an inch or two uh, thick 
you can use that cushion place it on the floor sit on the cushion and uh, those of you who are you know doing uh, work on the laptop or in your system for more than 5 6 hours a day because of your work because of it involves working in front of a system then you can sit on the floor or you know you can use a thin cushion and use a low lying table something which is uh, low lying and you can place your laptop or your system and uh, work i uh, work on that you know sitting in artha sadasana for a long period of time so that's something which you can do so you don't need to do it separately as well you can carry on with whatever work you're doing just that instead of sitting on a chair or something like on your bed you can try to sit closer to the floor so we have you know you get many of these low lying uh, tables which are height adjustable for example i don't know if you can see this so here you know we have this table something like this where you can adjust the height it's something uh, which you can adjust the height based on your requirement on your your uh, height so you if you place this on the floor it's uh, just about you know if you keep it at about a feet one feet you know height then you can place your laptop and you can comfortably sit in a cross leg posture or this dasana and work for us together like this so that's something which you can do especially artha sadasana you will see that this is one of the most stable postures if you can sit in artha sadasana for long periods of time your body will stabilize need for food water sleep all these things going to the restroom all these things will reduce because your body is stabilizing so this is the simplest yoga which you can do so uh, i would encourage all of you to experiment with this if uh, the next 3 days tomorrow being pradosham and 31st march 31st being amavasya if you can experiment at least on these 3 days and share with us how is your experience it can be um, you know wonderful to hear from all of you and sadguru was also mentioning about this that um, if at least you know half an hour before your meals if you can walk barefoot especially on mud or grass then the way the food integrates with your system will be very different so uh, you know if if you if you are you know if you find that some time you wish to walk barefoot especially outside your home then uh, you can maybe try and see if you can do that half an hour before your meals just see if you can walk half an hour before your meals barefoot on uh, mud or grass digestion will anyway happen but the way the uh, food integrates into the system it depends on the integrity of the elements and uh, that can definitely be enhanced if you walk barefoot half an hour before the meals especially if you have children at home this can be very beneficial walking barefoot and um, you will see that not only uh, enhances their health but also it can uh, enhance their cerebral capabilities their sense of awareness understanding of the body and also of things around them can be considerably enhanced if they just learn to uh, walk barefoot their agility their sharpness all these things can be enhanced if they just learn how to walk barefoot and connect with the earth so i just thought that i'll share this with you today because tomorrow being uh, pradosham the next 3 days will be very conducive for you to experiment with these things to try and walk barefoot and uh, if nothing else at least at home and uh, half an hour before your meals and also trying to sit on the floor in a cross leg manner so that's something you can experiment so uh, hope to hear from many of you about your experience you can even post pictures or videos of you doing this and share with us you can tag us on social media and let us know namaskaram